for me, life means Christ, and death is gain. Now, as then, some Christians in the universal church are being persecuted for being faithful to the God's given call to holiness. This was the case with St. John Chrysostom. He became patriarch of Constantinople in the year 397. And he was energetic in reforming the ways of the clergy and of the laity alike. He incurred the displeasure of the Christian emperor and was uh, twice forced into exile. On the way to his second exile, he died on the journey, worn out by his hardships. Here you have fragments of a sermon which is applicable also to our present circumstances. The waters have risen and severe storms are upon us, but we do not fear drowning, for we stand firmly upon a rock. Let the sea rage, it cannot break the rock. Let the waves rise, they cannot sink the boat of Jesus. What are we to fear? Death? Life to me means Christ and death is gain. Exile? The earth and its fullness belong to the Lord. The confiscation of our properties? We brought nothing into this world and we shall surely take nothing from it. I have only contempt for their threats. I find them laughable. I have no fear of poverty, no desire for wealth. I'm not afraid of death, for I live only for your good. I concentrate, therefore, on the present situation, and I urge you, my friends, to have confidence. Do you not hear the Lord saying, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. Will he be absent then when so many people are united in love and are praying gathered together? I have Jesus' uh, promise. I'm surely not going to rely on my own strength. I have what he has written. That is my staff, that's my security, my peaceful harbor. Let them be frantic in upheaval. I hold to the Lord's promise and read his message. That is my protecting wall and garrison. What message? Know that I am with you always until the end of the world. If Christ is with me, 
whom shall I fear? Though the waves and the sea and the anger of despots are roused against me, they are less to me than a spider's web. He is my strong tower, my immovable rock, my staff that never gives way. If God wants something, let it be done. If he wants me to stay here as I am, I am grateful. But wherever he wants me to be, I am no less grateful. How sweet the 